Hello guys, I am Dinox86 and today is uh, gonna be a tutorial on After Effects on uh, how to make uh, the effect on my last video, the Doom Edit so here as you can see it's at the end and uh, here you can see better so that's the the fourth time I'm trying to record this tutorial I hope it's gonna work so here you can see it's a very cool effect like it does like a, a map scan don't know that's very cool um, so the basic thing you're gonna need to in order to achieve this effect is a depth layer so as you can see here a uh, depth layer is a gradient uh, based on the distance over of the the camera so here what is far from the camera is white and what is near the camera is black so you get the ID and in this shot I didn't have the, um, the depth layer so I created my own so here as you can see uh, these, these are uh, 2D layer so solid with uh, a gradient on it and there is a camera that al allow the that follow the movements of the shot so in order to get a layer like this a depth layer uh, you can use a software that is called uh, Half-Life Advanced Effect that's a software that allows you to launch the game with um, special properties and you can record um, a layer like this, depth layer um, also there are green screen with the soldier so you can achieve a very cool effect and you can make a camera path so this software is very good uh, and a lot of people use it to make edit so the first thing you can do here is on the depth layer add the colorama effects uh, also this is um, a free plugin by video copilot uh, which is called FX console and it allows you to add FX very fast so colorama and here it goes madness uh, as you can see so here is the colorization I'd say uh, and it is based on the luminance intensity so here what is uh, white is going to be red so here the sky and also as there is a cycle repetition what is very black is going to be red also so if I move you can see the difference okay so now in the preset you're gonna use uh, set alpha ramp and here there is a a little one here that is transparent as you can see here and this this one is opaque so you're gonna create another one here and choose whatever color and set it to transparent and this one you're gonna choose any color I choose blue because uh, I think this is a good color for this effect and okay here uh, and now in input phase as I move this value you can see that the scan is doing the job already so you can start the animation push it until here and add a keyframe I'm gonna move this at the beginning and go to two scan is good and decrease the value until it makes the full travel until here okay and here now you can see the effect is doing the job 
and it looks great. So uh, now the second thing you can do is here in masking, uh, go here and composite of a layer and check. So now you only have the truck wave and not the depth. Uh, now you can add some extra blur. So I'm gonna use fast blur, and it's in order to cut the sharpness here I want to make it smoother so here like this, this is good and uh, now you can just pre-compose this, move all the attributes ok and now in bendy mode if you don't have bendy mode just toggle switch here and set to add so now it's interact with the map and it make it uh, lighter okay so we we are almost done um, something you can do if you have the software plugin is adding the time warp RGB here and what you can see what it does it offset the, the color channel uh, in time so here it does like a scientific glitchy I don't know how to say but y you know it, it's cool so uh, so that's okay for me and yeah it looks like great so uh if you think if you want to adjust the size of the the scan you can go back in the depth count in, in colorama in the output cycle uh, here if you get those transparent one a bit closer from the color you can see it getting thin and if you push it away it's gonna be bigger let's say I think the a good size is around here. Oh shit. Like this. I think it's good. It's uh, on your opinion what you prefer. And uh, we are already done. So the depth layer is very, very useful when you know how to use it. So if I turn on this one, I delete the. And uh, I can here on the normal picture I can add um, lens blur camera lens blur and if I choose I here in the layer uh, depth and now you can see if I increase this that varies uh, depth of field uh, again it is based on the depth layer and so now the the background is blurred like in the, the movie or or in the you know um, so yeah the player is very very useful when you have some uh, creative ID so that was it for this tutorial uh, I have to apologize for not being active for a few months now and uh, yeah I I had a lack of motivation but uh, there was a subscriber that came on Steam to talk to me told me that I make some great jobs so that was cool and it gave me motivation I hope for a long time and uh, yeah I'm not dead <laughs> so um, this video is over thanks for watching I hope you like it and if you did uh, leave a like maybe subscribe um, yeah oh by the way I've changed my mic microphone so I think you can hear some improvement in my voice as well as my as well is as in my accent because I'm trying to improve uh, my English a uh, bit and yeah so uh, sorry for the for the background noise because the 
the microphone is very sensitive and uh, yeah so bye bye